Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome to our YouTube family member. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Please click the bell to receive notifications of our upcoming videos. Please click the thumbs up button to like this video. Please click the share button to share this video with everyone you know. And if there's any one of you that would like to have a prayer um, prayed for on this channel, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Or if any of your prayers have been answered on this channel, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Or if you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Or if the Holy Spirit is telling you something that needs to be said on this channel, go ahead and comment that in the comment section. And we will do our next upcoming videos in the order they're received based on the comments. Thank you. We are currently at 60, um, 48 subscribers, 1,000 are required, and 65 public watch hours, and 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know that is struggling financially right now once we're able to get monetized. I want to thank you for supporting me on this channel, in this journey, and in this calling. Let's go ahead and get started by bowing our heads and closing our eyes into prayer. Thank you. Come Lord Jesus, we just invite you, your presence into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know today. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, and a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive today all that you have for us. Take away any distractions of the enemy um, and block any attacks of the enemy on this channel and in this video and in these people's lives. And we thank, pray that you give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, how to apply it today as we put on the helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us and others and our loved ones in our vehicles and others' vehicles and our loved ones' vehicles and the animals as well as we're traveling today. And we thank you for that, Lord. If there's anyone we be, need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you hedge and protect our leaders, us, our families, our loved ones, and the world. And that you show our leaders, us, our loved ones, and the world, God, divine knowledge and wisdom to make the right choices and heal our land, Lord. We pray that you forgive us of our sins and as we forgive those who sinned against us, Lord. Pray that you send down our guardian angels to protect us. Give them the rest and restoration that they need to do the work you called them to do in us as well. And we pray you send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. And we plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We pray that if um, there's anyone listening today that needs to be healed in their body, mind, and spirit, we pray for that miracle right now that you just heal their body, minds, and spirits in any area. We pray over any marriages that need to be restored today. We pray, Lord, that the enemy's hands be taken off of those marriages and those families and that they come together and reunite and forgive. And we thank you for that. And, Lord, if there's anyone listening right now 
that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior and wants to do so today and chooses to do so today because it's a choice. Um, we thank you for that person. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We pray, if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can be rest assured you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And we know it's not by works that we are saved. It's only by the perfect, sinless sacrifice. That's the blood of Jesus lived a perfect life that we're able to go to heaven. It's that free gift of grace, and we thank you, Lord, for that because it's not by works that any man may boast. And there's not enough good works that anyone could do to make it to heaven. So it had to be Jesus. And we thank you for that. Lord, I pray for this person right now, this new brother and sister in Christ, that you help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. And show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help others in need. We thank you for this person. We know, Lord, walking with you is not an easy path. And that's why some will not choose it. But it's the best path. And when this world ends, they can be rest assured they'll go to heaven. And we are going to have trials and tribulations in this earth. But overcome. Jesus has overcome them. And we, with his help, we can too. We thank you for that, Lord. And this person listening and all the people listening, Lord, meet them where they're at today and help them in any area they're struggling with and their weaknesses. And we thank you for everyone listening. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right. Go ahead and get started on what the Lord has to say about Exodus chapter 3, Moses and the burning bush. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside. And see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place wherein thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmakers. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go, go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, 
and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, thou and the elders of Israel, unto the king of Egypt. And ye shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us, and now let us go, we beseech thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when you go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that so So journeth in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and ramnet, and ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about Exodus chapter 3. And until next time, bye!